actually very famous for its skiing. It's one of the top skiing spots in Austria and it actually works quite well for the locals because a lot of them are dairy farmers or some sort of livestock which they keep up in the upper parts of the mountain which is great for summer but then later on they actually bring all the cattle down off the mountains and at that point the place becomes a ski park. So it's a nice sort of balance that's happened and it's working really well to help fund their farming lifestyle. Awesome, so we made it up here. Looks like that's our hut down there where we'll be staying tonight, Heidelberger Hut. Uh, it's a bit of a steep route down, but uh, going down is the easy part. <laughs> Hey, so I've just spotted a marmot, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're sort of like beavers that live on land. Let's go check this out. It's just over there. Just there. Can you see how big and fat he is? Wow, he's just gone into his hole, which is pretty cool. Now, he's quite fat, and the reason for that is it's just getting up to winter here. And these guys, when it comes to hibernating throughout the winter season, they slow their heart rate down so much that they only breathe twice every minute. Wild! has a place for eating and a place for sitting and some friendly staff which are about to check me in so let's go have a look. Do you want to check in? Yes I would love to check in please. Are you a member of the mountain club? Yes I am a member of the mountain club. Okay perfect so then I need your mountain club card okay. and also the suit. Okay, great. I've been given a bed sheet because of the bed bugs, just because just to be on the safe side, they've taken my sleeping bag. And now we're going to look at our room, number 12. Let's check out what the inside's like. Ooh, very nice. Nice clean beds and a view to boot. Of all that listen. 
form an attractive form to mimic For some the mission seems to be to be above all others in the scene To be the one to force other ships to sink Even with enough water for us to reap Come tell me of your plan To be the one that has To be the one that is Hey we're just to coming up to Jam Tower Hut uh, Yeah, to looks like a nice place I'm um, looking forward to trying to some of their Austrian cuisine To be the one that has To be the one that is To be the one that can Come tell me of your plan To be the one that has To be the one that is Got some honey here, yeah, and the local, like, local honey producers. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Do you think I could go just a quarter, yeah, yeah. quarter glass of it? Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Okay, I just got into the hut, and uh, the room's really nice and everything, but I'm really keen to try out this honey from Stefan and Nicole, the people which I met while I was on the trail. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite nice. They've got 200 kilograms this season, which is quite a lot of honey. And um, yeah, quite keen to taste what this is like. Mmm. It's a little bit soury, but it's nice. Depending on where the bees collect their pollen, it actually changes the flavor quite a lot of the honey. Um, so if you've got bees that live near the city, it'll actually taste quite anise -y. Or um, if it's near clover, it'll have a different flavor. But this here, this will be all the alpine flowers have all come together to make this honey so yeah really smooth really nice it's a very clear clear honey and that's the brand if you want to look it up honic okay so we have the keys we have the kaiser or kaiser we, here we have the Kieser Schwetzel, which is not quite a noodle, but very similar to noodle. It's, a, it's an eggy uh, sort of dish, um, and the cheese is actually from Goltar, which is quite local to here, so that's quite delicious. We've got some fried onions on the top, and a salad. I've gone for the vegetarian option, and uh, some nice Austrian food here. Come tell me of your plan, to be the one that has, to be the one that is, to be the one that can. Come tell of your plan to be the one that has to be the one that is to be the one that can Hey, so the weather's actually not looking too bad today so I'm gonna carry on up but I've been told that later on today it is going to get quite rainy so this may be my last day hiking we're gonna head up and over the mountains today going to Weissbadner Hut or Hut I found out why all of these huts are named after German towns, despite us being in Austria. And if we look back to 1869, the German uh, hiking club or Alpine Mountaineering Club, Deutsch Alpenverein, they started a whole lot of huts to promote hiking in the Eastern Alps uh, of Germany. And some people say, it might not be 100% true, but they they were annoyed with the management and the amount of huts which were in Austria. So they decided to expand and start making huts in Austria. And these huts were named after German towns. These days, it's actually one of the biggest outdoors clubs in the world with one and a half, one and a half million members. And they've actually got 325 huts, not just in Germany, but also in Austria, and in Italy so it's really just gone from strength to strength and the huts have just gotten better and better
we are in Weisbadner Hut. It's going to be the last hut that I'll be staying at. Uh, but yeah, it looks quite nice. Great views of the glaciers and looks like it'll be a nice place to rest.